Carlinners. Welcome to Carlin for the win. Happy Father's Day. I hope everyone is having a good time. Um, again, I just want to say thank you for visiting my channel. But I always say, hey, winner, this is Carlin for the win. But just in case you didn't know, my name is Carmen. So again, this is Carmen for the win. Just out here at Fishbone Restaurant in downtown Detroit celebrating my wonderful dad and in a moment I'm going to stand around so that you can see him but I just want to come on again and wish all of you a happy 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 Father's Day and a happy Sunday and um, I hope that everybody's having fun I hope that you're loving on somebody if it's not your biological or natural father someone who has been instrumental in your life um, I know there are plenty of people who um, stepped in and forgive me for these little bangs but plenty of people who stepped in and um, have been instrumental in your life some kind of way, showing you how to change your tire, or telling you to be obedient to your mom or to love your parents. Somebody has been there for you, so cherish those thoughts and those memories. Now I'm just going to turn around really quick and show you my uh, father, my mother, and two of my sisters that have gathered with us today to celebrate this Father's Day. I'm just going to stand for a minute. My daddy, my handsome daddy, he's almost 91 years old next month. I thank God for him, his life, his legacy, the heritage and um, the legacy that he's left for my family, my siblings and I. Another sister, my second youngest sister, my beautiful sister Alicia, and my beautiful sister, baby sister Sheree, and my beautiful mommy. His birthday is the same day as my dad. And she will be 77 next month. We're just enjoying this Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Daddy! Happy Father's Day! Wave to the camera. Happy Father's Day! Wave! Wave! Say hi! So he doesn't hear me, you guys. But that is my wonderful dad. I have a wonderful father. Who cares? I want to set my camera up so we can just take a look for a little bit. Okay. 
that he's comfortable as she has always been always making sure that he has everything that he needs whenever we go places you might as well be used to it I have some aunties and my siblings can attest to that we weren't leaving until we had my father something to eat or we brought my father something home dare not go somewhere go out to dinner and have dinner and not have something for your husband to eat. That's her man. Her baby. That's my daddy's baby love. Pardon me for stuffing my face. But my daddy, my mother is affectionately known as baby love. Baby love to my daddy. And she's concerned about him dealing with her own health elements and health challenges. He's still concerned about her husband and wants to make sure that he is always comfortable and has what he needs. And I'm telling you, brother, learn from those things. And that's what my goal is for what I need, the one for me. Man. All right, winners, let me take my mother's giving me some of her um, pop. She keeps asking me. And I try not to drink sugary drinks. But to satisfy her, I'm going to take a little bit of this coat. I usually, if I get something, I'll get the diet or no sugar added. Mmm, sweet Jesus. The Lord delivered me. That's got to be Pepsi because it's even sweeter than Coke. The Lord delivered me from. And y'all forgive me, this little piece of bag. But the Lord delivered me from drinking um, um, Coca Cola. I used to drink way too much. And I just told the Lord, I was like, Lord, I gotta stop this. I don't wanna be sick. And so he did that. And so 
So now, I don't. If I drink any sodas, no matter if it's sugar free or no sugar added, I prefer, prefer no sugar added. But let me tell you something. I can't stand regular Pepsi. Well, I won't say I can't stand it. My preference between Coke and Pepsi is Coke. And I'm looking at this picture at myself as I'm recording, and I look like my grandmother. It's good for some reason right now. Um, but they say I look like my mom, and my mom looks like her mom. So hey, it's in the family. But I prefer Coke over Pepsi. So that had to be Coca Cola. I mean, Pepsi Cola is super sweet. Pepsi is super, super, super sweet. But in diet, I prefer diet Pepsi over diet Coke. And then in no sugar added, I prefer no sugar added Coke. And no sugar added Pepsi in this step, because I don't even want it. That's so funny. So in diet, I prefer diet Pepsi. In regular, I prefer Coke. And in no sugar added, I prefer Coke. But I'm really sticking to, I've been drinking a lot of water. I do drink salsa water to the little fears that I miss sometimes. And I bought this uh, passion fruit flavored sparkling water from Waterloo, you guys. You gotta try it. It is amazing. Yes, it is. I'm not gonna keep this video going on. I was trying to wait for them as I put some more calamari in my mouth. I'm just trying to wait for them to bring the food so I can show you guys. But, um, Try not to take up so much storage on my phone. And then, you know, my dad, he's up with night well, like I said, you know, he's tired. He's ready to go home and relax. And I want him to be comfortable, whatever he wants. I want him to enjoy it. He loves spending time with his family. When I came here, I was a little late getting here. And um, the table's only seat four. I mean, you can um, squeeze a, t a chair on the end for five, but it'll be overcrowded. And so I was just sitting at the table. It was just a, a table next door. And he kept trying to get me to get over to this end in this, like, no space. <laughs> so I was like, hold on, Daddy. Let me just move this table over that way. We can all be together. Because he loves his family, and he always has, and he always will. And he was not satisfied until I got over and we were all at the table as one. Well. Let me see if I can show you guys. This is my telephone. And then I just ordered off of, um, no, I got the stand from uh, Myers. I got the stand to hold it from Myers. Okay. All right. All right. And my my parents, both my mother and my daddy, they want to make sure that we have everything that we need. And they love their family. And that's their joy being with their family. That's what we do anyway, but my parents, you know, they really want us to stay in their elder years and their health challenges. They still want to make sure that their children, their babies, are okay. And I love my parents for that. I love them anyway. But you guys, you just don't know. Cherish your parents. They mean the world. They're everything. And they only want the best for us. And um, that's woo. I'm about to get all of us because that's what parents do, no matter what. Sometimes we disappoint them, and sometimes we butt heads with them. Um, but they're your parents, and they have your best interest at heart. And so, you know, don't get mad at the parents when they don't see eye to eye or don't agree with what you do or what you want to do. They're praying for you, and I'm sure they want the best for you. That's all. So even if you don't do exactly what they want you to do, listen to what they're saying. You know, um, because it's all in love. They care about you. They don't want any harm to come your way. And again, in all of their challenges, their health challenges, their concern after Jesus is that their family, their children, are all right, and their grandchildren and great grandchildren are all doing well. So you guys cherish your parents and love on them and do what you can for them. It doesn't always take a whole lot, but do what you can for them and let them know how much you appreciate and love them. 
and my dad is over the table. I'm not gonna show you, but he's napping. And my mother, um, <laughs> she's waking him up. You know, she, again, she just wants all to just get together and enjoy. <laughs> and my sister is here from Atlanta, and my parents, you know, no matter what, they always. They always um, are concerned about us, whatever we're doing. And so my sister flew here from Atlanta to be here with my dad, and that's commendable. Um, and so my mother's so concerned that she wants my, us to be okay at all times. So she wants my dad to drive my sister back home to Atlanta. So that is just wonderful, you guys. That's the love of a mother and a father. And um, cherish your parents, you guys. Love them. That's not what you can do for them sometimes, you know, be there for them when you can. We, you know, we all have our own minds and we have to work and do stuff, but check on them, make sure they're okay, send them a love, talk and drink them off and get them their favorite treat or snack, especially my dad is 91 almost. I'm not, forget about, you know, you know, you need no sugar at 90 years old, or you know, you're older, you're getting older, and, you know, eliminate the sugar. He's 91 almost. Let him have some sugar. <laughs> so he can enjoy these days that the Lord has him here and my mother. So I'm not going to take away from him what he wants. Now, I won't just let him overdo it, but I'm going to give him a treat when he asks. And every time I come to visit, I bring a treat. Or I'll call and ask him what they have need of. And I'll, if, if I'm at work, I'll just get an Uber or a DoorDash order or something like that. And then you know, when I come, I bring it. So, guys, I'm just going to scan the room once more. Um, they have not brought our food yet, so I'm just going to scan and let you guys see my family once more, and then we're going to um, call it quits. But I hope everybody enjoys the Father's Day. And um, I'm also going to place this on Facebook because I want you to enjoy. And I apologize for the hands and my face the whole time moving the bangs. But I'm just going to scan one more time. It's Father's Day 2022. Sri, can you see y'all? Can you see y'all? I can see my hand. And you guys, before I go, I'm just so tickled. Because my parents, I used to go on, especially my mom, hanging out with us, especially every Saturday or every week. And she was like, what are we going to do when we leave here? Um, are we going home or are we going to be doing something else? So she's trying to figure out what else she wants to do. And I get it because these last two and a half years, we have not had them out a lot for obvious reasons. Um, and she is ready to get out and do something, honey. And um, whatever we can do. And once it gets a little better, I have a little treat plan, God willing. But um, everyone, enjoy the rest of your Father's Day. I hope that you have enjoyed. And uh, for those of you who don't have anybody or you feel like you don't have anybody, I love you. And for my family, to you, happy Father's Day. I love you guys. Bye.